If you're going to be a deer this Halloween, you definitely need a cute pair of antlers. With just a few supplies and a little patience, you can make your very own pair. You'll need a headband, floral tape, cream black and brown paints, paper mache mix, felt for the ears, pipe cleaners, and strips of newspaper or brown paper bag. You will also need a glue gun and some form of spackle, any brand will do. You begin by taking a pipe cleaner and tightly wrapping it around the top of the headband to form the skeleton of the antlers. Shaping it however you like, bringing smaller pieces out to form the side points of the horns. Be sure to twist them as tight as you can at the base to make them stand up, but we will secure them later on with the floral tape and paper mache. Now wrap pieces of floral tape tightly around the pipe cleaners. Be sure to stretch each piece to make it sticky. Using the floral tape is an option, you don't have to. I find that the paper mache sticks to it better than the pipe cleaners. Starting at the base, wrap it around the headband a few times to help the pipe cleaners to stand and build up the base of the antlers where it's naturally thicker. When you get to a connection of each V, wrap it around a few times going between the V and around both horns. It's generally thicker in that area as well. leave the smaller points for last because I like to start at the end of the point so I can come in at an angle with the tape to create a pointy end. Once you get it all wrapped, we're going to start adding strips of paper mache. Be sure to saturate each piece, but run it through your fingers to get off any excess. If it's too wet, it will take forever to dry. Again, starting at the base, wrap it down the headband a bit and around the skeleton to make sure it stays put and doesn't move around on us. Work your way up the antler, making sure to tightly wrap it. We'll come back in and build up the base later on. To make my paper mache, I used about four tablespoons of flour and added water just until I decided it was the correct consistency and added probably about two tablespoons of Elmer's glue. And when you come to a V, do the same technique as we did with the floral tape to make the connection a little thicker. Since we made the ends pointy with the floral tape, if you wrap tightly enough with the paper mache, you should end up with a point. But if not, just take a piece and go in at an angle with the paper mache. Continue adding layers of paper mache until you feel your antlers are thick enough, making sure to let it dry between each layer. Hitting it with the hair dryer definitely speeds up the process. headband with the paper mache so that the paint doesn't scratch off the plastic. On this particular set, I only went down the sides halfway, but it's up to you. Cut two brown and two white pieces of felt in the shape of ears, leaving a one to two inch tab on the brown. Then just glue them together. I ran out of the fuzzy fabric, so I won't be adding that on to this set of ears. But see, it gives it just an extra, extra pop. I think it makes it look really cute. 
then pinch the bottom together and place a dab of glue. Next, run the glue down the tab and wrap it around the headband, securing it for a few seconds until it cools. Wrap a strip of paper mache around the ears and down the headband. As it turns out, I only had enough felt for one ear, so luckily one is all I need to show you how to do it because obviously you do the other ear the exact same way. Take a small amount of the spackle and add a little water so it's easy to spread on with a paintbrush. I'm leaving some small lumps in this batch and I also have some already mixed up that's a lot creamier. At the bottom of the antler, you want to create a bumpy texture. Then on the rest of it, we're just trying to smooth out any paper lines you might see. Just work it around with your paintbrush, and then about a third of the way up, I'll switch to the creamier mix and brush it against the lines where we didn't get the paper mache tight enough, just filling, filling the lines in. It definitely makes it easier to work with if you can prop your horns up on something. Here I just used two jars and it worked just fine. You don't want to make your horns too, too smooth. If you look at an actual set of antlers, uh, they do have a bit of texture. More so around the base, it seems to be a little bumpy and then they do smooth out towards the tips, but you don't want it to be completely smooth. Now it's definitely important to let your spackle dry completely before painting because if it's not completely dry, your paintbrush will smooth down all of the texture that you worked hard on making. Now mix up some cream, brown, and black paints. I created like a dark taupey brown and painted about a third of the way up and all over the headband. Take a little bit of your dark color and throw it in between where the small points meet the antlers just to give it a bit of dimension. Now I'm coming in with my lighter cream shade and painting the rest of the horns. They seem to be, they start out dark at the base and get lighter as they go up. With a light hand, add a little bit of the lightest shade to the tips of your antlers and kind of just drag it on down and just drag it around a little bit. Now I'm 
going in with a bit of the darker paint, uh, just touching up any areas that need to stay dark. You can go in with a clean brush where the light meets the dark to kind of smudge it around and blend it in a little bit. take um, some of the lightest shade with a completely dry brush and only add just a little bit of paint and even wipe some off and just very very lightly go over the antlers so it only hits the top of the texture so you'll have some darker color poking through. And here I'm just going back in with a little bit of the dark paint, touching up where maybe I got a little bit too much light. And there you have it, our little one-eared set of antlers. <laughs> of course, the other ones I did turned out a little bit better because I had more supplies. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching.